Hi, this is Eric from FlexPVC.com, and this time we're going to talk about uh, other valves. Uh, these are going to be blade valves, gate valves, diverter valves. Okay. In the previous video, we did the ball valves. And you got a little ball in there, and you turn the ball, that's what stops your flow. These are gate valves. Or actually, this is a blade valve. The reason I call it blade valve is because there's a blade in here. There's a big old thing, and when you push this down, there, okay. When you push that down, the blade actually comes down and seals. And then there's a little thing down here, there's a little, that you push and it snaps in place and it holds this in, in the lock position. This is a gate valve. Now the reason we call this a gate valve is because there is a screw inside here and as you turn this, the gate drops. I apologize, this is a 3 inch by 2 inch, or I mean 3 inch uh, slip by spigot gate valve. I couldn't find an inch and a half right now, but anyways. This is a gate valve, and the gate valve is nice because you can regulate the flow. You can just set it wherever you want, and it's going to stay there. You can open it up halfway, a third of the way, whatever you want. Whereas the blade valves, blade valves are generally open or closed. You really don't have any place. If you try and put it in the middle, vibration from the water is nothing that keeps this thing in place, so it's going to close. So gate valves, or what I call blade valves, are meant for open and closed position or applications. This is also a uh, play valve, but it's buttress thread. And I just brought this out here to show you because right now I'm showing you a slip socket, but there are almost any combination you can imagine for these valves. Threaded, spigot, slip, this is buttress thread. A uh, buttress thread is the one that uses the uh, O-ring on the inside. It usually goes right up against the pump. If you have a swimming pool pump or a spa pump or something like the irrigation pump, this would thread directly onto the pump. And then this one, this one you can see a little bit better because it's bigger, but it's got this little nipple, I don't, you probably can't see it on the camera, but there's a little nipple that what happens is when you push this down, like I said, they're open or closed, there's nothing in the middle, and then it latches in these little grooves and that's what holds it in the down position so it can't accidentally open up. Alright, so that is a blade valve. This is a diverter valve. This, I absolutely love this valve. Um, <laughs> uh, the diverter valve is really cool because it diverts and on this particular valve you can make any port to import and the other two ports are the out ports. So you can have it come in here and divert this way or divert this way. Come in here, divert this way, divert this way. You take these screws out here, there's a uh, little gate up inside here, and you can turn the gate to make whichever one of these valves the input and the other two the output. And then, what's really cool about this valve is there's this latch, there's this little handle here, and this lifts up, you can't see it, there's no way you can see this in the video, but it lifts this up, and there's little grooves around the outside. So, you can set this. So if I set this right here, it snaps in place. So right now, the way this valve is situated is I've got it coming in here, and I've got about two-thirds of the flow coming out this way, and one-third of the flow coming towards me. That's what's so cool about this valve. Oh, and it's got a lifetime warranty. <laughs> um, and you can rebuild it. So your verter valves are in those situations where you have two different directions you need to go. Sometimes you may one turn one completely off, turn it to all the other way. In other words, like, come in here and now I want the flow going this way, but nope, now I want it to go over the other way, so you turn the handle, goes back the other way. Or you can say, well, I want 20% of the flow to the flow this way, 80% over here. And you can actually set that. There's no metering or anything. You have to estimate it or use uh, flow devices or flow metering devices. But the idea is that it's a latch in here and it'll stay in place. You hear that clicking? Once it gets in place, it's going to stay that the water's not going to turn it. Okay, so that's your diverter valve. We have uh, several different diverter valves. This one's the lifetime warranty one. It's actually made of CPVC, which is a little bit higher grade of PVC. Well, it's the same as uh, standard PVC, but it's a higher temperature rating. But you can mix and match CPVC and uh, standard PVC as long as you know what you're doing. Um, and CPVC is always uh, superior to standard PVC in your application. So if you use CPVC, it'll be fine. Um, there was one other thing I want to talk about this valve. The handle comes off, uh, lifetime warranty, Set it anywhere you want. Oh, we have other ones. We have less expensive ones. These are made in the United States. Um, and we have less expensive diverter valves. Almost all of them are going to be larger sizes. Um, you've got inch and a half, which this is inch and a half slip socket, inch and a half spigot, which I talked about that in the other video. Um, you can also get two inch and two and a half. Uh, the imported ones that we only have inch and a half and two inch, and they only carry a one year warranty. Uh, I guess that's pretty much it for diverter valves. Uh, I just think more people should use them. Now, I know the reason they don't is because they're very expensive. And I'll just show you a real quick tip. Instead of using a diverter valve, you can simply use a T with two ball valves. Something like this. Okay? But it's 
kind of cumbersome because you can actually um, turn it off. You can actually have both of these valves turned off, which would be a disaster depending on your pump. But it's a lot easier. It's a lot, or not, it's not easier. It's a lot less expensive. And as long as you pay attention, you can get away with this. But the diverter will just give you so much more control over the flow. Than the, the ball valves are really hard to regulate the flow. If you've ever tried to regulate the flow of the ball valve, you know what I'm talking about. It's really hard. Okay, so those are the uh, valves. We'll go back and do more detailed videos on these. Um, maybe like show you how to rebuild one or something like that. But that's the, the uh, different ver uh, You got shuttle valves, ball valves, tree union ball valves, gate valves, blade valves, diverter valves, and I'm probably forgetting some other ones. Oh, we have some small uh, spa valves. Um, notice one thing on small val the uh, spa valves is that they do not stay in place. <laughs> um, over time, they do vibrate and they move around a little bit. So, but they are available in smaller sizes. Uh, check the website out, uh, flexpvc.com. It'll be the first row of pictures on the main website, and you'll just see valves. Actually, no, I think it's the second row. Sorry, I'll look that up for you and do it again. Okay, thank you. This is Eric at flexpvc.com.